This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create this vector uh, camera roll film icon using Inkscape and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and we'll get started in Inkscape. The first thing we'll do is set the view to custom then we'll zoom in at 100% then we'll open up our Align and Distribute menu with this button up here we're going to want last selected chosen from this drop down and then we'll go to the edit objects colors gradients and stroke menu and then we'll be ready to get started so the first thing we're going to do is create an oval so let's come over to the circles and ellipses tool and let's create a very thin oval maybe like that and I'm going to take the opacity of that and drop that down about in half and then we'll go to path link to offset and we'll turn the offset red and I'm going to grab this little node up here and pull this out a little bit so that the red, the red ellipse beneath it is a little fatter than the one underneath it, above it. And I'd say that's a pretty good amount right there. We could leave that as it is and go to Path, Object to Path, and that finalizes it. Then we go back to our Select tool, and we're going to go to Edit, Duplicate. And we'll turn that duplicated copy blue. And I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and just click and drag this down about this much maybe to about there and then we'll send that to the bottom by uh, clicking the button that says lower selection to the bottom and I'm going to zoom in on this portion right here just by pressing plus on the keyboard to zoom in and you can move the page around by pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse and that'll move you around and I'm going to click off of that to deselect everything and I'm going to go to the bezier pen which is the icon right here or you could just press B on the keyboard to get the bezier pen and we're going to turn on this button up here that says snap to pads turn that on and we're going to snap the cursor onto the far left edge of this blue oval and then click hold control and bring that line straight up until it snaps onto the far left edge of the red oval and then click and I'm still holding control I'm going to bring this line straight across and I'm actually going to press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse around so I can come over to see this more and snap it onto this edge and click and still holding control we're going to bring this down until it snaps onto that edge and click and again, I'm going to press down on the mouse wheel to move the mouse over and snap this back to the starting point and then click. And then we can go back to the, we can go to our select tool. Let's turn off the snap to paths for now. And I'm going to hold shift in the keyboard and click on this blue oval and go to path union. And then I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag over all of this right here. And I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. And then I'll flip that vertically with this button up here that says Flip Selected Objects Vertically. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and just click and drag this up to about here. Maybe up a little higher. About there is pretty good. And then we can click off of that to deselect everything. And then we can come over to our Squares and Rectangles tool and click on that. And I'm just going to click and drag and create a rectangle going over this whole thing right here through the middle like that. And I'm going to turn this green just so we could differentiate it from the rest of the graphic. And we'll go to our select tool, and I'm just going to take this arrow and move this left edge of the uh, the uh, the green rectangle over to the left. We want it to be almost almost touching the edge of that black oval right there. Bring that out about that much. That's pretty good. And we'll do the same thing over here. Bring that over to it's almost touching the edge, and then we could hold shift and click on the blue shape up here, and come down here to the align panel and click on the button that says center on vertical axis and it'll be centered up. So we could click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's try to click on this black oval right here. And once you have that selected, right click it and go to duplicate. And we'll go down here and do the same thing to this oval. Try to grab that oval and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then let's press one on the keyboard to zoom back out. And I'm gonna hold shift and click on the other black oval so we have them both selected and go to path, union. And then I'll hold shift in the keyboard and click on the green rectangle and go to path intersection. So we end up with this shape right here like this. And let me zoom back out. What we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in on this bottom portion right here. So I'm just going to press plus on the keyboard to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the bezier pen, just uh, press B on the keyboard. And I'm going to turn on the snap to cusp nodes. This is going to snap the cursor onto every corner. So I'm going to snap it onto that corner right there and then click and bring this line up, snap it onto that corner and click. 
and then just bring this straight through to this line, to this corner, and click. Come back down here, snap that onto that corner, and click, and then back to the starting point and connect it back together. And then we go back to the select tool, and I'm gonna hold shift in the keyboard and click on that green object right there. And with these both selected, I can go to path, union, and there we have our shape right there. So let me press one to zoom back out to 100%. And I'm gonna click and drag over this entire graphic and I'm gonna bring the opacity of it all the way up. And then I'm going to turn off the snap to cusp nodes button for now and click off of the graphic to deselect everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start coloring this thing in a little bit. I'm gonna click on this top blue portion right here and I'm gonna make this 90% gray, which is the first one over from black and click on that. And we're gonna give that a linear gradient with this button up here. And I'm gonna press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. And I'm gonna click on this stop right here over to the right, bring the opacity of it all the way up. And then I'm gonna zoom in. Let me just press plus on the keyboard to zoom in. And this little blue line right here, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, it's a little blue line connecting these two nodes. I'm just gonna double click on this blue line over here to create a new stop. And I'm gonna click on that stop. And I'm gonna take this L column. Under the HSL tab, I'm gonna take this L column and bring this over to the right a little bit. And I'll take this and put this right here. And I'll take this node, I'm gonna hold control and then click and drag this over. Still holding control, I'm gonna click and drag this over. And we wanna position this thing like that. Just about there is pretty good. So let's go back to the select tool and let's roll down on the mouse wheel to come down here and do the same thing to this blue shape. Click on that. Let's click to give that a linear gradient. And from that drop down, we could just go to the, the, uh, the gradient we already created. Press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. I'm gonna hold control and click and drag this stop over. I'll hold control and click and drag this stop over. And let me zoom back out. Press one on the keyboard to zoom back out just so we could try to eyeball and see where these two are. We wanna make sure they line up and that they're somewhat similar. Let me click on that one. Yeah, I have to edit this one a little bit. Bring that in a little closer. Just like that, and I'd say that's pretty good. So let's uh, go to our select tool and let's click on that red circle right there. You know what, I'm gonna have to zoom in on that in order to grab it. Click on that right there, that red circle. And let's make this 70% um, gray. If you hover the cursor over the shade, it'll tell you what percentage of gray it is. So I'm gonna make that 70% and I'm gonna give that a linear gradient as well. And I'll press G on the keyboard to get back to the gradient tool. And click on this stop over here to the right. Bring the opacity of it all the way up. And then uh, let me zoom in a little more. I'm gonna double click this line right here just to create a new stop in there. And I'm gonna take this stop and I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna make that lighter. So I'm gonna bring the L column over to the right a little bit. Let me zoom back out. We wanna put this light portion not where the light portion of this one is, but a little off to the left. We want to offset a little bit. I'll bring this over and I'll bring this over, holding control while clicking and dragging those over. And we'll go back to the select tool. And let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out and see how that looks. All right, that's pretty good. We're gonna do the same thing down here to this red circle. Just click on the linear gradient button, go to the drop down, choose our, uh, our lighter gray shade that we picked already. And I'm gonna press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. I'm gonna to do the same thing over here. I'm gonna hold control and click and drag these stops over until this one's about offset from the one beneath it. Just like that, that's pretty good. Now let's go back to the select tool. And now let's click on this shape up top and we'll right click that and go to duplicate. And I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this up a little bit. And I'm gonna hold control and shift and grab one of these corner arrows and just click and drag to scale this down, maybe about that much. And then I'm gonna hold control and click and drag this down here. And then I'm gonna zoom in on that portion right there. And I'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And I'm just gonna click and drag over these bottom two nodes right here. And then hold control and drag these down until it goes into the, the darker part of that graphic. And then I'm gonna uh, go back to the Select tool and lower that to the bottom with this button up top. Lower that to the bottom. And um, let me, um, let's go to the gradient tool. We'll give, just press G on the keyboard. And I'm gonna hold control and move this node off to the side a little bit. And I'm gonna move this one over here like that. And that's pretty good. Let's go back to the select tool. 
and let's right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that black and then I'm going to hold control and drag this down to about there and I'm going to lower this one step and then another step and then another until it goes down beneath this shape right here so I'm going to take that I'm just going to move this down a little bit hold control so it goes straight up and down maybe about that much and I'll take the opacity and drop that down a little bit maybe that much and that's pretty good we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything and then let's click on our green shape up top here and right click that and go to duplicate and we're going to turn that one um, black and then I'll right click that and go to duplicate to duplicate that again turn that red and hold control and click and drag this one down about this much and hold shift click on the black shape beneath it and go to path difference and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new gradient for this one as well so let's go to the uh, the linear gradient tool and click on that and press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool click on that stop bring the opacity all the way up double click this line over here to put a new stop in there and I'll put this over here and I'm just gonna lighten that up just a touch maybe just a little bit like that that's pretty good and then we can go to our select tool and let's click on this green shape and let's give that a yellow shade I'm gonna use this shade down here which is FFCC0 I'm just gonna make that that shade of yellow and then I'm gonna click on this one this object right click it go to duplicate and I'm gonna turn that the same shade as the yellow as well but I'm gonna come over to the L column and slide that over to the right to make this lighter and then hold control and just drag this down about that much and lower that one step beneath the black shape we just created and then we could hold shift on the keyboard and click on the black shape beneath it and let's group that together with this button up top group selected objects and then I'm gonna right click that and go to duplicate and I'm gonna flip that vertically and let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out I'm gonna hold shift click on the yellow shape and align the bottom edges so that we have these two shapes like that and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything so the next step for us is to let's click on this yellow shape right here and let's give that a gradient as well I'll give that a linear gradient press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool and I'm gonna click on this stop over here to the right and I'm just gonna go come up here to the H column and slide this over to the left a little bit to make that an orangish little more orange of a shade and then I'm gonna hold control and just drag this over to the right and then I'm gonna move this one over to the right I'm gonna move this one over to the right move that one over to the left move this one over to the right I'm gonna put this right about here so let's go to our uh, squares and rectangles tool and let's click and drag to create a square going over the um, going over this graphic right here about that wide that's pretty good we'll go to the select tool I'm just gonna move this over to the left a little bit and then we'll click on our uh, our gradient shape right here we'll right click that and go to duplicate and hold shift in the keyboard and click on that orange rectangle we just drew and go to path intersection and then I'm going to lower that two steps one two so it goes beneath those objects we created a few minutes ago and I'm going to turn that white and I'm going to give that a linear gradient as well and we can press G on the keyboard to get back to the gradient tool and I'm gonna put the white part of this gradient over here and I'm gonna take the transparent part just hold control and just drag this over here like that and then we go back to the select tool <clears throat> I'm gonna drop the opacity of this a little bit that's pretty good and I'll go back to the rectangle tool we're gonna to do this again but going over here on this part click and drag over here like that go back to our select tool let's click on this orange gradient shape again right click it go to duplicate hold shift in the keyboard and click on the white rectangle that we just drew and go to path intersection and I'm gonna lower that two steps one two until it goes beneath those black objects and I'm gonna take the opacity and drop that down a lot more maybe maybe that much and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything so the next thing we want to do is let's zoom in on this a little more maybe about that much we want to be able to see the top and the bottom here of this inner part we don't need to be able to see this up here we're gonna turn on our snap to cusp nodes and grab the rectangle tool and let's snap the cursor on to this corner up top here and then just click and drag to create a rectangle and snap it onto this bottom corner part down here and then let go and I'm gonna turn this red just so we can see it 
and I'll bring the opacity up a little bit just so you can see that we just created a rectangle. And we'll go to the select tool and I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to move this over to the right a little bit. I'll take this left arrow and bring that in about that much. And I'm going to lower this one step. I'm going to click this a few times until it goes beneath the yellow, this yellow, um, yellow orange object right here. So I'm going to click it again and again, and that's pretty good. So with that there, let's bring the opacity of that all the way up and let's make this, um, 80% gray and let's give this a linear gradient as well. I'll press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. Let's click on this stop right there, bring the opacity all the way up. Then we'll click on this stop and take the L column and slide that all the way to the left to make that black. And then I'm going to hold control. I'm just going to click and drag this gradient over to the right, over to the edge of the uh, orange right there. And that's pretty good. What we could do is go back to the select tool. We'll right click this, go to duplicate, and we'll make this maybe 80% uh, gray. Now we'll make this 70% gray. And I'll take this left arrow right here and just bring that in about that much. All right, so what we could do now is I'm going to move this over a little bit. Uh, let's go to our rectangles tool and let's snap onto, uh, you know what? Let's snap onto this corner up here and then click and drag and snap onto this bottom corner down here so that it's about the same height as the um, that orange cylinder right there. And we'll go back to the select tool and I'm just going to hold control and drag this over to the right about that much. And we're going to send that to the bottom lower selection to the bottom and let's go back you know what? let's make this 90 percent gray and let's go back to our squares and rectangles tool and click on that and we should have these little nodes pop up on the rectangle and I'm gonna grab this circle node up top and just click and drag that down a little bit to give that rounded corners that's pretty good and then we can uh, let's turn off the snap to cusp nodes we don't need that anymore and we can go to this with the squares and rectangles tool still selected, let's just create, let's just hold control and shift and click and drag to create a perfect square off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to take these corners and I'm going to unround them a little bit. We want them rounded, but not too much. Maybe about that much is pretty good. Uh, we'll go back to our select tool. I'm going to turn that red just so we can see it. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down a little bit, scale it down to it's about that size. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate and I'm going to hold control and click and drag this over to the left and press the space bar. And it's important that you're holding control and the click the whole time you're doing this to create. And then when you're doing that, you could press the space bar to create copies like that. So I'll create a copy right there. And for the last one, I'm just going to let go of everything. And then we're going to click and drag over all four of those objects. And let's make sure they're spaced out evenly by going to the distribute panel and clicking on the button that says make horizontal gaps between objects equal and click on that and we can go to path union and I'm just going to move this over a little bit so it looks like it's equally equidistant from the edges. That's pretty good. And I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate, hold control and click and drag this down to the bottom and then hold shift and click on the uh, the red objects that we originally created and let's unify them all together by going to path union and then we're going to hold shift and click on this black shape beneath it and let's just make sure that's centered on the horizontal axis and then we can go to path difference and one final step for this object is we're going to give this a linear gradient as well so let's come up to the, the, uh, the linear gradient tool press G on the keyboard click on that stop bring the opacity all the way up and I'm gonna double click this line right here to create a new stop and then I'll click on that and I'm gonna make this one a little lighter and then I'm just gonna hold control and bring this one bring this stop over here to the start and I'll bring this stop over here inward a little more and I'll take this and put this over here and we go back to our select tool and we could press one on the keyboard we can click and drag over the whole thing and group it together and you could resize it however you'd like and that's pretty much it that's how you can create that uh camera roll of film uh graphic icon using inkscape so if you have any questions let me know and as always thank you for watching